Hello and welcome to you all and thank you very much for coming. As you know, everyone agrees, whether they're enemies, friends, foes, old enemies or new enemies, they agree that the challenges faced by the civilian population in, uh, uh, in Gaza, in the Gaza Strip, are monumental. I think we can agree on that. It is one of the most uh, densely populated places on earth. 81% of Gaza is urbanized and it is a place deeply marked by displacement and forced migration. Around 1.1 million people are currently considered displaced and 70% of the population is a registered refugee. Today's event is to launch a sanctuary in the city, urban displacement and vulnerabilities in the Gaza Strip. So what are the specific challenges faced by the multitudes of displaced in Gaza? How are those challenges different between those who are displaced and those who are not displaced? Is there any difference? Who is helping these people? In a place of very widespread poverty and deteriorating living standards for everyone, displaced or non-displaced, how is the help needed, assessed, and how is it delivered? How do you measure the effects of displacement when people are prevented even from truly fleeing danger in the first place? Today we will hear answers to these questions uh, from our speakers and panelists here and live uh, from Gaza and Jerusalem and uh, to the questions that our audience and our audience online will have a chance to ask later. So please hold on to your thoughts, to your questions uh, for our Q&A session in about an hour's time. If you want to tweet, if you're following this on Twitter and you want to tweet, uh, please use uh, hashtag Gaza calling. Uh, let me just very briefly remind you of when you want to ask a question later on, just make sure, just wait for the mic to arrive and then speak into the mic so we can all hear, especially those following us online. Uh, there are publications related to this event, including this very report that we're uh, talking about, in, uh, Sanctuary in the City, uh, and uh, other HBG work on the table outside and on the stands in the reception area. So uh, this is it. Use the microphone, wait for your turn, and wait for the Q&A. Please hold on to your thoughts and don't forget them, because you're probably going to hear a lot of things that you're going to ask questions or you'd like to ask questions on. Uh, let me... This is on the record, by the way. This is being recorded and it will be streamed live and it will be available within 48 hours on the website. Can I start by introducing our guests? In Gaza, we have Robert Turner, who is the Director of UNRWA Operations in Gaza and has over 20 years of experience in humanitarian and disaster response operations. And he will tell us a little more about what they do, what he does uh, in a little while. Ahmed Abu Tawahina is the Director General of the Gaza Community Mental Health Program, GCMHB, a non-profit Palestinian non-governmental organization providing mental health support to communities in the Gaza Strip. And we will hear how the mental health problem uh, particularly needs attention. In Jerusalem, we have Sarah Adamtek, is the Information, Counseling and Legal Assistance Project Manager at Norwegian Refugee Council, NRC, in Gaza. NRC provides legal assistance to displaced Palestinians or those at risk of displacement. And here in London, we have Rushanara Ali, who is the Labour Member of Parliament for Bethnal Green. In October 2010, she was appointed to the Labour Front Bench as Shadow Minister for International Development. And on my left, Siman Haysom is the co-author of this report, Sanctuary in the City, Urban Displacement and Vulnerability in Gaza, and a research officer with the Humanitarian Policy Group here at ODI. So thanks to all of them. And I would like to start by asking the obvious question. 